Hi, and welcome to the demonstration video for um, the demo text, which is 2 8. Today we're going to be working with um, the text tool, which is here. We are going to now go up here to type. We are going to select a font, and we want to select a font that is fairly thick. So I'm going to select elephant because it's got nice thick lines. And I clicked on my workspace and it came up with um, some placeholder text. So I'm just going to type in my name. Now, what I want to do next is to use my selection tool, make sure that I have this um, name selected. What I am going to do next, okay, is to expand the object. And I want to expand both the object and the fill. There we go. Back to the object menu, and actually, it's faster to right click and ungroup. So now each letter is its own object. So I will take my M and make it nice and big. What I want to do next is to create a copy. So I'm going to go Control C, Control V. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. And with this copy, I am going to use a gradient and I want a linear gradient from white to black, but in order to get the metallic, we need to do this. We stick back, then quite close, we're going to go with a dark gray, a lighter gray, white, backwards, will be the darker gray, and that's too much space. Back. Then I do it again with the gray. Okay, and of course, as you know, I can move where the different colors are. So I'm going to go with a lighter gray here. And here. I am going to go with the white backward again to the lighter gray, a darker gray, and then, oops, the darkest gray. And when I click off that, you can see that I have now made what looks like um, two metallic pipes, okay? and my M has now filled with that. So that's great. I want to rotate it 90 degrees so that it's sideways. I am now going to put this M just a little offset from the black M. Select Select both of them. Okay. okay. If the group isn't coming up for you, the easiest way to do it is to imaginary circle, control and G. This is now one object and will move as one object. Okay, I can now take a stroke and I can use black or I can use a darker gray. Um, I would say set your stroke at about um, 0 0.031. And there we go, we have sort of outline, especially visible 
on the black. Um, we can continue object. We're going to begin by expanding it. Okay, we don't need to ungroup it because it's its own object. And now, because we have the gradient fill set up, this and see down here, that's our gradient fill. Um, remember to rotate it 90 degrees and control C, control V. This I can now fill in black. Oops. I can fill this one in black. Then we'll pick this one and do the gradient. Okay, which is down here again. that one on top of the other, create a nice stroke of about 0 0.03 inches. Okay, there we go, just slightly offset. This control group, it's now becoming one object, and I can place it wherever I need to. I'm also going to exit the isolation mode so you can see what I'm doing. That is behind the M. Okay. So let's arrange it, bring it to the front. There you go. That is the beginnings of creating metallic text. I hope you enjoy this and we will see you on the next two video tutorial.